two brand new lunar landers raced to the surface of the moon. However, only one of them survived. Find out which one in this episode of Space News. Hey there everybody, it's Nick from the Orbital Alliance. This week was jam-packed with awesome news items in the space industry. And I'm gonna jump right into it because SpaceX has kind of blown our minds with the latest launch date announcement for Starship. And again, this is the prototype for the latest version of Starship that's gonna be taking 100 people at a time into space, hopefully to the lunar surface and Mars and back. And they're gonna be launching out of Starbase, Texas, hopefully on September 8th, 2023. Now, I think that is an extremely optimistic date, as with most things SpaceX or Elon Musk related. Uh, they are, of course, pending FAA approval for the launch, but if I were to give my best estimate, it's likely it'll be pushed until later in September or either early October. But keep your ears open because getting to see Starship do its first successful orbital flight test is gonna be exciting to say the least. So don't miss that. And the latest news to hit the headlines today, SpaceX's Crew-7 launch from Kennedy Space Center was delayed, it was scrubbed, and tomorrow morning, Saturday, August 26th, will be the next attempt. I believe it's around 3.49 a.m., so it's going to be an early one, and hopefully they'll be launching the next crew to the International Space Station. Again, this launch is monumental because each of the four seats aboard Crew Dragon are actually carrying people from different countries. There's no imbalance in terms of nationality on this mission. There's an American, uh, someone from the Netherlands, a Russian cosmonaut, and an astronaut from Japan. So really exciting. So tune into the live stream if you haven't, or go to YouTube so you can watch the replay and you can see this historic mission take place. And now the explosive headline you guys have been waiting for since the beginning of the video, and that is that Russia and India actually took part in a bit of their own mini space race this past week. They each launched their own lunar landers and rovers to the moon so they can explore the lunar surface. And unfortunately, the Russian Luna 25 rover crashed upon descent. As it was in lunar orbit, they were trying to land it on the surface and it didn't make it, it exploded. Now that's of course, unrecoverable at this point. No one is able to go there and fix it. It is destroyed. So the best that Russia can do is learn from their mistakes here and apply it to the next launch, which I believe will be happening in 2027 if things go well for them. Obviously with Russia's geopolitical stance hanging in the balance right now, 2027 might be pushed later. We'll see. Uh, but for those who are all about space exploration, peaceful space exploration, hopefully they're able to get their next lander to land successfully. On the other hand, India had a much monumental success by landing their very first craft on the surface of the moon with a rover so they can go check out all of the cool places that might be containing water ice on the South Pole. Now, this was a huge deal, not just for India, but for the world. They are now the fourth country to successfully land something on the surface of the moon. And this is also just a huge win for the people of India too. Now, India did live stream the landing event and it drew over 8 million viewers to the stream, which is exceptionally more than even some of the hottest soccer or football games, wherever you're from, uh, that have happened recently. And that, I think, says a lot. It shows that the people of India are ready to explore space together, and their country is now delivering on some really epic missions. So congratulations, India. Way to go. And the very last thing for you guys this week is actually a bit of local news, meaning news related to my channel, The Orbital Alliance. Just a couple of weeks ago, I took a small impromptu trip to Canada to go meet Canadian astronaut Chris Hadfield. And I had a really, really fun trip and I documented it and I wanna be able to share that interaction with you guys. So in just a couple of weeks, you'll be seeing a vlog from me here on the channel where I give you all of the fun details and show you the conversation that I had with Chris. It was fantastic. So if you are not already, Ready, please consider subscribing to the Orbital Alliance so you don't miss that video as it comes out. As always, thank you so much for watching. I so greatly appreciate your viewership. If you missed previous episodes of Space News, you can watch those right here. And so you don't miss future episodes, be sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell. See you all on the other side.